I'm Chad Jemison with Bright Ideas Realty, and we have an amazing pleasure today. We are here with Andia of Andia's Ice Cream in West Cary, and we're going to learn the backstory, the history of her shop. I think a lot of people would be fascinating to know more about the background, though. So, how did you come to open the shop? How did Andia's yeah. come to be? A great question. It's a pretty long history that I think most people don't know about, but yeah. we've lived in Cary for about 10 years now, but prior to we were in New Jersey and there was a little ice cream shop that we would frequent and it was very family friendly, you know, very social environment. And my husband would always say, what a great business, you know, brings people together, it makes people happy, it's affordable. Um, so when we moved to North Carolina, he said, all right, you know, this is our opportunity. Let's <laughs> consider, you know, looking into the ice cream business. And yeah. We started researching it, and we researched for three years wow. before, and I studied how to make ice cream, obviously, and mm -hmm. you know, create recipes and perfect recipes. And uh, we did catering, ice cream catering, and wholesaling at the time for four years. Yeah. And people kept saying, where can we buy your ice cream? Yeah. If you weren't at an event or an, an office catering party or whatever, mm -hmm. you couldn't get it. So at that point, we were fortunate enough where George could leave his full-time job and join me here full-time, and that's when the retail business was born. Wow. So it's been it's been a long and fun ride for sure. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. What are the secrets to making great ice cream? <laughs> you have to start with a great quality milk. Yeah. Not all milk is the same. Not every cow produces the same quality milk. Mm -hmm. So we searched long and hard to find a farm that we were very happy with, the product that they were going to give us, a consistent product that was high quality, mm -hmm. that I knew was going to help create a reputable ice cream, you know, where we'd be consistent every time. There's also um, something called overrun, which is the amount of air that gets turned into the machine. Yep. We have low overrun, which gives you a creamier product. So it's there's a lot of different things at play. And of course, love. Yep. I have to add the love. <laughs> there's a lot of love in making our ice cream. I love that. So your catchphrase, yeah. it's a neon at the right. back of the store, scooped with love, That's right? right. And it truly, uh, truly is. What's a favorite monthly special that you've had in the last year that really stands out to you? A current special that we have is what we call our baklava uh, Sammy, which is a delicious baklava from a local um, baker, and the name of the bakery is Asali. They're in McCrimmon, so it's not that very far from here. Yeah. She's a wonderful small business owner, works as hard as I do, you know, nonstop. And um, so we've collaborated and we've created this ice cream Sammy, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, can so. we try that? Yes, All I right. think you should. Let's go check that out. That sounds great. <laughs> we let our guests choose their own flavor. However, we highly recommend either our rose pistachio, which your yep. daughter loves, mm -hmm. or a brand new flavor we have, which is pistachio. And it's actually Sicilian um, pistachio. It's delicious. Let's go rose. Uh, is it okay? Yeah, let's rose. go rose. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. So we'll put this right here. Okay. These are toppings for the one thing. And then, we're gonna top it, and this is so amazing. It honestly doesn't need anything else on top, mm -hmm. but we put we drizzle it with a little bit of the syrup that our friend from Masali puts on, in her yeah. baklava. So let's put some of that. Perfect. So we're gonna just drizzle Ooh. syrup. Oh, this looks so good. Mmm. Isn't it a great combination? Wow. It's so flaky. Mm. Delicious, right? So with the that's rose, incredible. You can really <laughs> taste the walnuts in her baklava. It just mm -hmm. makes the whole thing shine. It's so good. It does. It's crisp. Mm. So last question: What is your favorite flavor? That's a great question. You know, it's hard when you have 24 flavors on the menu yeah. at any given month, right? But um, before. I started experimenting. It was always vanilla and mint chip. They were always my, my two favorites. But now, that has completely changed and my all-time favorite flavor from today is um, rose pistachio. I'm Greek. I grew up, I was born in Europe and you know came here when I was little and all I remember from my youth is just rose ice cream. It was my favorite thing to have. Wow. It's refreshing and light and it was, back home it was more icy. I, I've made it a, a much creamier than it was mm -hmm. but um, so I wanted to create some flavors I had to do from my upbringing and my roots and so that's where baklava came from and um, the rose pistachio was born from that 
and it, I don't know if it's because it brings me back to my youth, but yeah. I just love it.